beautiful when he's running. This is a surprise. He's like a big kid and I think that just shows it. I don't think he can catch a cold. He just keeps moving. It took him a while to get going, but when he got going, he was quick. So Kyle, we're going to be reacting to some of the fastest runs made by City players in recent years. Before we start, are there any names that you expect to come up when we're talking about fast City players? Um, Sterling, um, Leroy, myself. <laughs> You're uh, criminal not to have you in that. Are there, any, are there any dark horses in the City squad? that people might not think are fast, but actually when you're next to them, you realise they're pretty quick. Kevin with the ball is actually very, very quick. He might not look that quick without the ball, or he can't be bothered, one or the two. But as soon as he's got the ball, he seems to be very quick. Um, so I'd say Kevin and I think Gabriel Jesus as well. Okay. Um, oh, this is the Yaya, Yaya Torres run against Aston Villa. Looking to take on all comers. This is typical Torre, and that is the 100th goal. I always remember Delphi running back because when I came here, um, I think that was just before I joined Villa or the season after. So I was still obviously following Villa. Um, and I always remember seeing Delphi scampering back trying to catch him. And Yaya with his big strides is just running away from everyone. But that, that was the season that was on absolute fire, weren't it? Yeah, yeah, 13-14 yeah, yeah. yeah. was it, I think. Yeah. So he actually, when he got going, he was quick. It took him a while to get up through the gears. It took him a while to get going, but when he got going, he was quick. <laughs> no, I think, obviously, me playing in the Premier League for the last 12, 11 to 12 years now, I've seen, I've probably been on the other end of it when he's storming down at me and, you know, closing me down or running past me. But I think it speaks for himself just what a great player and a great man Yaya was. Um, as soon as I came in here, um, he made me feel so welcome. And to be fair now, he actually, we still have the odd text and conversation with each other and he always checks that I'm OK. So I have nothing but respect for Yaya Torre. He has scored all types of goals this season. Free kicks, deft touches and it's a solo run. Sterling inside of Daniels. Sterling again. Sterling all the way. Sterling it is. Sterling and it's deflected off the post. What a tremendous run by Sterling. So unlucky there not to find the back of the net. Any, any thoughts as you're watching that? Um, I think we all know how quick he is. Um, it, it's a nightmare sometimes to mark against. It really is. I think just his feet, his low sense of gravity, and you actually don't, he's deceptively, you don't know how strong he is. He is so strong, you know, to try and move him off of the ball. Some wingers, you could give him a little touch and they come off balance. But him with his low sense of gravity and how strong he is and what he works on, you know, in the gym and on the training field to make sure if people push him, he doesn't go off balance. It's, you know, full credit to himself and, you know, the. the the video speaks for itself. Obviously, there's a lot of back and forth between you two about who's the fastest and whatever, but at the end of the day, nothing but respect for him, I guess. No, I think I can't have nothing but respect for him as a, as a person, as a, as a human being, as a man, but more importantly, as a footballer as well. It's what he's done for, I think, for himself and for the game of football. He's changed it and made people look at it completely differently now. But saying all that, who's faster? Um, I'm quicker. He knows it as well. If you want, seriously, I wish someone just ask him, video it, get it out there, and then conversation done. Sterling calls for it. The quick turn onto his right foot. And really, from that moment on, pick the spot. So here we have, oh, it's Leroy. So he's, he's fast, but he's a different fast from you in a different body type. Like, just glides around. So Leroy is like, he looks beautiful when he's running. I might look ugly where it looks like an effort. He just seems to glide. Now, if there was one person that I would think would give me a run for my money, I would say it would Leroy, 
but I still think I'd do him. It's interesting though, isn't it? Two completely different sort of body types, two completely different styles. You're like an eight seventies muscle car. He's like a gazelle, but you're both. No, no, he's like a, he's like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari. He looks beautiful. I'm like the Mustang that's all talking, wants to get off. He's a, a lovely Lamborghini or a Ferrari or a Porsche that's just gliding as it goes. And I'm there just with my loud self trying to come from behind him. All smoke coming out of the yeah. exhaust. Leroy Sané plays that across, it's Aguero! Do you know your 100 metre sprint time, by the way? Um, no, I haven't done because the clubs that I've played for probably wouldn't like me going down to a track and sprinting. Um, so I wouldn't know. I know in year seven, I did 12, I think it was like 12.42 or something like that, which was pretty quick back then. So I, I'm hoping to be quicker than that now. So we've seen you make lots of fast runs up the pitch, but we want to focus on the defensive runs here. Yeah. Just tell us a little bit as you're watching it, what you're seeing. and. This is mine against the goal line clearance um, in the Community Shield against Liverpool. Epic. Um, yeah, it was, it was great. I think, obviously, considering the time it was at, like 92 minutes I've just seen at the bottom. Um, and it was the first time that I actually put the captain's armband on for City, which was obviously a proud moment from getting it off of one of the lads that came off. I can't remember if it was Kevin or Fernandinho, but, um, it was a proud moment for me for then the rewards at the end of it for us to go and win it in penalties made it all that you know extra special but um, I think I've done a few for City goal line clearances um, where my pace has got me out of as, as normal people out of trouble <laughs> well yeah well got the team out of trouble to be fair not just yourself so is it just pure instinct at that point yeah, I, I think it's kind of a game in, within myself as well. Like, oh, you can't get there, I'm going to try and get there. So half of the battles in, in you is a mental one? Oh, it's just a mental one or a test for myself, yeah. Nothing becomes of it. We will see a replay of that to pull us its chance. This is a surprise. Oh, OK. Here he goes. Is he going to make it? Oh, brilliant, Joe. <laughs> and that's against Rooney as well, who, yeah. you know, you'd put money on him putting that away. But I think that just sums Joe up in a nutshell. The most lovely, but craziest man I've ever met him, probably in football. Um, when it's bitterly cold outside and it's wet, you'll see Joe rolling around in the mud. He loves it. He's like a big kid. And I think that just shows it from there running up and then any other goalkeeper will probably just jog back and said, okay, it's not up to me now. Someone's gonna have to get back from him. But he's got back and he's probably had a little game with himself saying he's not gonna score in my net. He didn't have Kyle Walker there running back. Running back for him, yeah. <laughs> he might and does. And Joe Hart, what a remarkable recovery in the end. <laughs> Incredible stuff here. This is a surprising one, Bernardo. So I don't think he could catch a cold. Oh, he's running away from someone. Yeah, that's it. Explains it all. But, the, <laughs> but this is not Bernardo being quick. This is Bernardo just moving away from people and using his low sense of gravity and his bad luck. That's all he does. He just runs away from you and then turns at the last minute. So it's actually him not being quick. It's him just jinking away from people constantly because he's annoyed him. <laughs> That's all we see him is running away from people. Yeah, because he'll annoy him or do something to him, probably megs him. Then you have to run after him and then he just keeps moving his body. But Zinchenko's not bad at it as well, to be fair to him. But he's another one that couldn't catch a cold, so he's very slow. But Bernardo, he might not be that fast, but he's um, he puts in the the kilometers no, on the no, pitch. No, no, I think he, to be fair to him. All jokes aside, I think Bernardo's work ethic for something that he don't make up with the speed, um, which I don't think he'd be me. Uh, what what can I say? Me'd be wrong by saying that. I think his ball control and how he manipulates his body 
and making the defender think he's going to go one way and then all of a sudden he goes another way. Probably one of the best I've seen.